All right, so I went ahead and removed shifter, kickstarter, brake pedal. Now we're onto the side cover. All right, go ahead and take that nut off. Back the shaft out with a flathead. Cover off. Here we are. Take these off together. Set them aside. Then we're gonna go ahead and take these 38 mils off, this off, and then the clutch out of here. should come off of there and then we'll need the special tool here to take this out of here all right you just take the flathead knock these back till they're all pretty flat then go ahead and uh, put your special socket here. All right, we got the uh, socket on here. Pop it on here. Buzz that off. And then this clip should come out of here with it. All right, we're going to take those four off the clutch, two down here, and then this will all come out together here. Shield out of here. these out and that one's out don't just take this nut off next all right got that nut off it's probably easiest to use an impact it's a clutch spin, so good 18 volt impact will take that off. And then all of this stuff comes off. Can't really video it, but grab it with two hands and just pull it straight out. Okay, now we're here. Um, 
shifter shafts right here. Go ahead and uh, we're gonna take this out next, get our new one slided in, go from there. All right, so my shaft was pretty bent on the other side. I didn't want to heat it up and bend it back. Didn't want to risk cracking the case. And I knew it wouldn't come through this way. So I went over, cut it off with a hacksaw and then just broke it off with a hammer. And then I used a punch on the other side there and a hammer and brought it back this way. It's right here, it just pulls out. Pretty simple. There's the shaft, very bent as you can see. I also pulled the seal out on the other side, the shifter seal. I'm gonna replace it, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw the shaft in right back in here and then put the seal in and then we'll catch back up. All right, here's the parts we got. New shaft, part number. I'm doing a new gasket. You don't have to, but probably gonna rip it taking it off. New shifter seal. All right, so when you go to put this back together, there is a little nipple here. I don't know if you can see that. Nipple, two vertical posts. When you put the new shaft in, this part right here goes on, it goes in like this. This goes on top of the nipple between the two shafts like this. It's got grooves to hold it in with those vertical posts. One other thing, uh, I drained the oil before this, forgot to mention that. It's a lot less messy. And I popped the peg bar off, obviously. All right, so I just dropped the new shaft in. It just pushes right in and it'll push right between these two posts here it'll kind of snap into place it won't come out and then we're going to go ahead and throw this thing back together all right we're going to throw this back together um it's pretty simple these all have to go back on as one these gears line up back here so just make sure to keep that in mind Gonna take some wig on it. So bear with me here. You gotta get that shield down there on top of the shaft you just put in. But I'm an idiot and didn't do that. Like I said, it just takes a lot of wiggle. So right one, gotta line the gears up.
Okay. Now that you can see here, all that's lined up. Gear back here is lined up. This should be flush. You should have enough room to put your nut and washer, lock washer, washer nut here. And then your two tents down here. All right, one thing I wanna show on this gear back here, as you can see, right here it is split so you have to make sure this gear gets through the first gear here and slides down into the, all the way to the bottom of this like that all right we're we'll go ahead and throw this thing back together um we're gonna start right here that sits in there Beveled washer, it says out on it, that faces outward. Pretty simple. Go ahead and put that on. Um, then we're gonna go ahead. Washer, not on this side. And then we're gonna go ahead and snug both of these down with that again all right we're gonna go ahead and tighten these up don't need to kill them nice and easy just snug them then you're gonna grab a flathead knock them back onto the nut over here we're gonna put this back on it's kind of beveled beveled down and then this on with all four nuts and bolt i mean bolts All right, go ahead and snug these up. Crisscross pattern. I already did this one. Kind of got to turn it here. Okay, those are snug. Take our flat blade and pry these up onto this. Make sure they touch it. Just go ahead and make sure those are all tight against there.
Okay. Go ahead and put this back on. Just drop some in there. Three little bolts. If I can get it. You don't need to tighten the shit out of these. Just buzz them down. And then you have these two down here still. I believe those are 10 millimeter also. Don't need to kill them. That's that. Um, another thing I was going to say for these nuts, if you don't have one of these or you don't want to buy one, you can use a hammer and like a punch or a flathead and hit it counterclockwise and knock it out of there. I do the same thing to tighten it up, but... It's a million times easier. These are like five or ten bucks. Just buy one. All right, so your last step should be to be putting these two things on here. This and this. You can see there's a marking on this new shaft you put in. And there's a dot there. Line those up. This should look somewhere around right there. And then... You're going to want to make this vertical sit as straight as possible and you're going to want to drop the side cover right over that and right through that hole right there so i'm going to go ahead and do that and then i'll catch back up okay i got my side cover back on um i took a picture of the adjustment beforehand so i just put it back to where it was I'm gonna go ahead and put my case bolts in put the seal on the other side for the shifter and then brake pedal kickstarter shifter back on Peg bar, skid plate if you got one, whatever. But that's about it. Pretty simple. Um, I mean, I'm no mechanic. Never claimed to be, but just trying to help some people out.